Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get an assortment of goodies from the Deepstone Crypt and the Vow of the Disciple Raid completely solo. Now I know what some of you might be asking, what can you get out of here solo? Well, the chests, as I'm showing you here, will give you stuff that you've already earned in the raid, but that's not the only reason to do them. I wouldn't just release that as a guide that you had to have beat the raid to get stuff from these chests. If you've had stuff, this can give you red border weapons, it can give you armor, anything you've earned with different roles, but there is another reason to do these, and that is what I'm going to explain. So when you get in here to access this chest, you have to kill basically Sabathon's stunt double. I know that's not a name, but it sounds good to me. Very easy to kill. That will open the big door behind her. And then what you're going to do is go to the next area. Kind of, it's very similar. There was a mission in Destiny, which I cannot remember now, uh, that took you this route and you had to do roughly the same mechanics, except we're not going to be doing the mechanics that you would do at the start of the raid or in that, what was it, retribution or redistribution or something like that was called. We're not going to be doing those mechanics. All we need to do is kill the three ogres. Now, you get a, a, a debuff on you called Pervading Darkness, right? It will kill you if it gets to 10. So you have that amount of time to kill the three ogres. If you don't kill them, fear not, this isn't a wipe zone. You will just wait till you res again. You'll have no Pervading Darkness and then kill the ogres you hadn't killed. No problem at all. So when you get here, all you're wanting to do is kill the three ogres. And then we can progress to the next part. Now, if, you, if you're saying to yourself, well, what, how, what good is this to me? You're going to see what you can get from this chest if you don't already know. You're going to see what you can get from this chest. And trust me, it's worth doing. But I would suggest, now, much like most of you guys, I, I, I have a team for maybe three months of the year. I have nice people that I read with, but I'm not part of their team. So I, I get invited in and it's it's cool because most of the people I read with are okay. You know, I'm more than okay, they're very cool. But sometimes I just want to go in when I want to go in and do it and that's not always the case because they're a, they're a unified team. So I have LFG'd a lot these raids. Trust me, it's not scary as you think. Go in LFG post that, that asks you to be chill. It just means they... They don't expect you to be a god. Explain that you don't, you know, I've watched a video, but I don't know what how to do this. And the majority of people will be cool with you. Anyway, you shoot those two lanterns. You get here. This is the third one. You can just, but you've got to go to the other side normally to shoot it. But if you've got a rocket on, which is one of the reasons I have, you can fire a rocket through there and destroy it. And that, that actually makes the chest appear. Now, like I've said, You've seen it start the video. I've got a red board of Lubris, uh, the glaive from Vow the Disciple. You also get Spoils of Conquest. Now, Spoils of Con Conquest are really important because that uh, thing that's in the season pass that my brain has just went to mush that allows you to make weapons deep sight, you need Spoils of Conquest to use that. So, this is how you get them for free. You can also save up, buy something from the exotic kiosk. You can do this on every character every week. So that's 15 a week. It might not sound like a lot, but if you're not reading, it is a lot. Now we're on to Deepstone Crypt. Deepstone Crypt works very similar. You will get from these chests weapons and stuff that you've had before. If you've never had any of the mods, I should add that, you get you get the, the raid mods from those chests, whether you've been in before or not. So... You know, if you're a completionist or you are thinking about maybe LFG in the raid or going in with a team, uh, it, may, it, it may be worthwhile having all the mods. So in, in Vow the Disciple, you have Pervading Darkness. In Deepstone Crypt, you have uh, Frostbite, which is the debuff, that the, the, the wipe mechanic, if you like, that goes up to 10. Uh, and, and there are shelters that you need to get to to... Uh, to uh to kind of get that off you it, you'll see what i mean when we're doing this so follow this route that i'm taking you have to kill all the enemies in that first section to get this door to open and then you just spiral through it in the next section and then we're going to go uh between 
the shelters. Now, at each shelter, you're going to have a whole bunch of ads. You have to kill all the ads at each shelter. Bar the only two shelters that don't have them are the first one and the second one. Now, I'm going to I'm going to fast forward through this. Basically, I'm going to cut to the final one. Don't worry about the route. I've got you covered. Uh, so this is the first one. And you spiral down here. You see I've got frostbite and it's going up times two, times three. Once I get to this next shelter, it will start to take the frostbite off me. Stay in the shelter until the frostbite's gone, then go to the next one. So this is the last frost, the last shelter before the chest. Don't worry about the route. I, like I say, I've got you covered. I wouldn't just put this out and tell you to find your own way. Don't worry about it. So as you can see, at the final one, now we've got two bricks. Hence why, and for Deepstone, I have Xenophage on. And this is the type of ads that you're going to face. You're going to face some of these Void Shielded Captains. There's normally two or three of them. As you can see, I am doing this on the Hunter. Uh, and nobody can say a thing to me about running a Hunter for this because I very rarely run Hunter. I ran it just because I very rarely run it. Clear all the ads, and then you're going to you're going to kill the the two Briggs. As I say, Xenophage just makes very light work of them. And you'll see that here. Then we're going to go and get the chest. And then we're going to speak about the other thing you get from here, which is the same as... It's not the same as Vow the Disciple, but it is in the respects of... This is something you can get in here, regardless if you've been in or not before. So the weapons, the red borders and what have you, you can get anything that you've already had from here from these, this chest... You don't get uh, Spoils of Conquest. You used to, and Bungie and that Infinite Wisdom decided that wasn't a good idea, but they've left it in with Vow of the Disciple. You, you, you tell me, I don't know. So, that's your chest. This is the Retro Causality. It is the Raid Exotic Spiral, and I'm going to show you how to get it solo. Now, as I said, you want to clear all the enemies at each one of the, the shelters. There's a couple of reasons for this. One, you don't want any straggler enemies when you're trying to do this. Two, every time you clear enemies, the full enemies, it makes that shelter your last checkpoint. But it also means you can transmat back. So when you've done all what we've just done, cleared those brigs, got the chest, find these transmats on any shelter and transmat all the way back to the start. Now, there's no enemies. All you have to do to get that exotic spiral, and you only have to do it once, is, I don't know if you remember when we first loaded into the first area, there was a whole bunch of spirals here. As you can see, they're all gone. It's just this last one. Because I've already took them. This is the route through here. So, you've seen this at the start. Spiral down here. Go off the... Now, this spiral's not very quick, so you have to make sure you're spiraling off the, you know, the, the, the shortest jump. So once you get once you get to there, you're gonna go down here, turn hard right at this point. Watch out for the spider mines because they slow you. And just like what I said about running at normal, when you get in here, you want to wait until your frostbite's gone. You can see it going down here. Once it's gone, go over in this direction. You'll see those kind of lanterns there. We want to make sure they're on my right. And you're looking for it. I know that the storm's up, but eventually you'll see a big tower. You see that tower? That is where the shelter, there's a big tower at every shelter, every shelter. But I'm showing you the quickest route in between each shelter. So when you come out of there, go past those two kind of structures, you'll see a lamp, lamp over in the distance. That sure tells you you're on the right path. Just kind of, you don't, I, I boost across these, you don't have to. And this is your next shelter. Turn around, we're going to go back the way we came, but we're going to go up to the left. So you see the lamp the lamp there is kind of light in our, our direction to the next one. Watch out for the spider mine. Not like I did. Don't try not to go straight through it, but it doesn't really matter. And go through the past these rocks in between these ones. And this is this is your last shelter that you'll have to wait in. Now there's two entrances to the last place. Take the left one. When you go in, go to the left, then right, then right, and then left. Spiral straight across, and there you go. You park that there. You might have to run to the next checkpoint. I can't remember. But uh, the next checkpoint is through the doorway in front of us, that door there, and then just keep going. And there you go, guys. That is how to get some free stuff out of, out of the Disciple and Deepstone Crypt. 
If you did enjoy the video, a like would always be appreciated. I'm going to be doing more videos like this on how to do stuff like this solo. If you did enjoy it, as I say, leave a like, a comment to let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next video.